Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the absolute value of numbers in Google Sheets. The absolute value of a number is the magnitude of a value without considering its sign. In simpler words, it's just the value but without the sign. For example, the absolute value of a number, say minus 10, is 10. The absolute value of plus 10 or 10 is also 10. So let's say you have this list of numbers and you want to find the absolute value of all these numbers. There are a number of ways to do this, but in this video, we're going to be covering these two methods using the abs or abs function and using the if function. So let's start with the first method, the using the abs or abs function. As you probably must have guessed, the abs or abs actually stands for absolute. So the abs function's sole task is just finding the absolute value of a given number. It takes just one parameter, which is the value you want to find the absolute value for. So this could be just a number like minus 10, let's say, or it could be a reference to a cell containing the number that you want to work on. So here we'll just use the apps function and pass the cell reference a2 and then press the return key and then copy down this formula to the rest of the cells using the fill handle. And there you have it. All the negative numbers have been converted to positive and the positive numbers remain as they were. So minus 80 has become 80, minus 10 has become 10, 60 has remained as it is, 0 has remained as it is, minus 8 has been converted to 8, and so on. So this was one way. Now let me show you an easier way. Instead of these two steps of typing a formula and then copying it down to the rest of the cells, you could just use one formula that can get you the same result in a single step. So let me just remove this first. So all you need to do is convert this formula to an array formula. For this, you simply need to insert the whole range of cells, A2 to A10, as a parameter to the apps function, and then press Shift, Control, and Enter to convert this formula into an array formula. This will make the apps function return an array of results, where each element is the absolute value of our inputs. So you see, you got a whole list of results in one go. You didn't need to have separate formulas for each item of the list. Now let us look at the second way to convert numbers to their absolute value. We covered the abs function and now we're going to use the if function. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to just convert all the negative numbers to positive and we don't need to actually convert the positive numbers because their absolute values are the same as the original, right? Now, there are many ways to convert all negative numbers to positive, but we are going to be using the if function. So we want to first check if the value is less than zero, right? So we're going to check if a2 is less than zero. If it is less than zero, then we will multiply the value with minus one. So we say a2 times minus one if a2 is less than 0. And what does that mean? That means it's just going to convert a2's value to its positive form. And if it is not less than 0, which means if it is already in its positive form, then we just leave it as it is. So we just leave it as a2. Let's press the return key. And you see, we get the absolute value of this number minus 80 gets converted to 80. Let's copy it down. And you see now, we get the absolute values of all these numbers over here. See, minus 10 got converted to 10, 60 remained as it is, 0 remained as it is, and so on. So these were two ways to find the absolute values of numbers in Google Sheets. I hope you found this useful, and if you did, then please hit the like button and press subscribe for more. Thank you, and have a nice day.